But we begin with breaking news. A spokesman for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says someone broke into the Pelosi home in San Francisco and violently assaulted Paul Pelosi, the speaker's husband. A spokesman says a suspect is in custody. ABC News' Elizabeth Chelsea is joining us now with more on the investigation from Washington, D.C. Elizabeth, I know this is a developing story, but what do we know at this point about this attack and Paul Pelosi's condition? Right, Diane, a lot of details we're working out here, but here's what we can tell you based on this statement primarily that we got from the House Speaker's uh, spokesman, Drew Hamill. So he said that this assailant broke into the Pelosi residence in San Francisco this morning, that Paul Pelosi was violently assaulted as part of this break-in. He was taken to the hospital and he's now receiving care. Drew Hamill, the spokesman, says that her husband is expected to have a full recovery as part of his care at the hospital. As you noted, Diane, the suspect is in custody. We don't have information about the suspect at this time, but the San Francisco DA says that charges will be filed against this, bus to this suspect. They have not been filed yet. We also know from our reporting that House Speaker Pelosi was not in San Francisco last night. She was here in Washington at the time of this. We don't know where she is right now, but of course, a lot of concerns. And, and Diane, this is just one of the latest incidents just to show how heated and how personal some of these uh, rhetoric has gotten and to the point of it becoming violent in this case, Diane. Now, Pelosi's house has been vandalized before. What can you tell us about that? Right. So we know that Pelosi's residence in San Francisco, this is a wealthy neighborhood of San Francisco. There is a lot of security there. It was vandalized in 2021. There's also been a line of personal uh, threats against House Speaker Pelosi. She has faced several personal threats of violence, uh, threats against her life. Of course, when you think about the attack on the Capitol on January 6th, she was a primary target, personally targeted by many of those rioters. And we know that House Speaker Pelosi has a very extensive security detail. She is followed by numerous Capitol Police. She is, of course, in the line to, uh, of, of, to become, you know, she's, she's followed regularly as she's traveling. Uh, we don't know, however, Diane, how much security there was at her house when she's not there. So that's going to be a big question mark. There obviously is a presence, but the fact that this suspect was able to enter and at the time, um, you know, does raise some questions about how much is there when Pelosi is not actually in place. Of course, <laughs> we're going to keep following this. We're going to bring you details as they're coming in, Diane. And we appreciate it. a lot of people, I'm sure, wondering how this happened and wanting to know those details. Elizabeth, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.